What's up guys, welcome back to our video. This is Alex, MTV Alex, and today I'm talking about my Outlander. But as you know, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and if you want to support the channel, check the affiliate links in the description below. It'll hook me up a lot. All right, let's get right into it. So as many of us know, we have the uh, hood flutter issue. Today is Monday the 9th. Uh, this is gonna be, a, this video is gonna be a long, a few days all in one video i got a call on friday last friday and uh i have an appointment to go ahead and drop it off because they're gonna go ahead and replace the hood on it so let's see something real quick so what i want to do is open this thing up and just randomly check on things to see if they're actually gonna do something about it i don't know what we can check Hopefully they replace all these stickers. I want them to actually make sure they paint the under this thing real quick. Real here. We have the sticker right here. And yeah, the inside does not seem to be painted, which is no surprise, but it is not. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to take a look at it before I actually send it just so that I can see we can see some of the differences on it there's not much to see in there just want to take a quick peek of what the difference are gonna be on this hood and uh, if they're gonna replace anything so let's look at it for a second before I actually drop it off Now I do have the SEL with the uh, lounge edition and I have the emblem right here. I'm gonna ask them if they can put in the black one instead. If they can, it'll be awesome. But uh, again, this is all in one piece. I don't know if it's gonna be the same. We'll see about them. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be about the same on the way the grill and the uh, hood connect. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong on the exterior on it. I have not seen any damage on this thing. And all we gotta do now is drop it off to the dealer. And I will come back with you once I return it. They said it's gonna take about three days. So hopefully they do a nice quality job and I will be right back. what's up guys so yeah i just went and picked up my car today from the dealer they went ahead and replaced the hood and this is what we got so right off the bat they did uh replace the uh outlander uh emblem and i asked him if they could do the black because i wanted a black and they say yes so that's 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 good right there and uh the paint looks amazing the shade looks exactly the same I don't see any issues with the paint or any imperfections even though this was paint in-house it doesn't change the look of the front at all and uh, the shine is there and uh, they went ahead and replaced the fuel pump as well now let's see once I have it open they painted the interior as well of course they replaced all the decals I have the uh, the service paper that they gave me and it recalls all of this in there inside let's see if i can get a little bit of light uh there it is a little bit of paint in there as well i don't see there's the reinforcing back reinforcement back there so overall pretty pleased with what they did there's the reinforcement right there and uh Overall, I think it looks, you can't even tell that this is a replacement wood. And uh, pretty pleased with the results. They went ahead and re reinstalled this right there as well. So everything's back where it should be. This is also painted, really nice, everything quality and really no complaints. Now let me take it for a spin and see how it goes. Well, let's see, with the new hood on, about 60 miles an hour. And uh, 
It seems to be working. Even with a few little bumps on the road, anything like that. I think that, that actually did solve the problem because there's no flutter whatsoever. Uh, currently at 70 miles per hour, still no issues. So I think, again, if you haven't had the hood replaced, just go ahead and get that done. That's my wife's Eclipse Cross up there. Man, I really like that uh, black emblem. It blends in really, really well in here. So no complaints right there. Well, as you saw, I was driving. Uh, I think the top speed I reached was like 75 miles per hour. No issues whatsoever on the hood. There's no more flatter anymore. So I'm pretty sure that this was, this. that's it. My hood, there's no more issues with it and it's ready to go. So I hope this video finds you well. I hope that you learned something from this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have not seen the series of these videos, check out my channel. I have a playlist about the Outlanders. Check those out. And uh, this was finally the solution. Other than that, that is going to be it for today. Again, this was not a recall, but the last time I took it um, back in either March or February, they, I told them that I wanted to have it replaced. They put me on the list. They called me on last Friday, dropped it off Monday, and uh, they called me yesterday. It was also Friday, so it was in the dealer for about four days, and because uh, they also replaced the uh, the recall on the gas pump. So pretty pleased with the results. I just hope the uh, quality is there, and uh, I'll guess I'll do an update video if anything goes wrong with the paint or anything like that. But uh, still under warranty, so I really don't don't foresee any issues anyway so again that's gonna be it for today let's wrap it up if you want to support the channel check the affiliate links in the description below if you want to become a channel member you can do that as well super tanks and all that good stuff other than that that's it for today subscribe notification bell on and i'll see you in the next one bye